All right, so here's our next set of notes. Maybe I should talk like this. Today we're going to watch or discuss parent functions. You will understand the different type of parent functions. That is our object. No, I can't do that. Anyways, all right, so here we are. We are going to start studying parent functions. Our next unit lesson is going to be about parent functions. We're going to, today's notes are just going to be discussing what are the parent functions, and then we're going to have assignments that help you understand them a little bit better. Then we will look at transformations. How do we make those changes? Okay, so what is a parent function? Well, let's find out, shall we? A parent function is, well, first off, I guess I got to have the question, but a parent function is this. Um, it's the simplest graph function of a particular family of functions. And when we talk about families, we're talking about like a group of functions, graphs, that um, have similar characteristics, or actually have same characteristics. Um, so, for example, we can talk about linear functions, and, and which you've seen since Algebra 1, uh, and linear functions, y equals x. You can see the type of graph there, and, and that's the parent, y equals x, or f of x equals x. I should have said f of x equals x, but okay. Well, you'll see it in a little bit, f of x. Either way, the point there is, it's a straight line, and then all the other, say, linear functions that you studied that moved it up or down, whatever, those were transformations of that, but that's the parent. This is the most basic form, and then you go from there. All right, so what are our different types of families? Okay, and this is something, um, these are going to be all the functions we're going to study at some point this year, okay? A constant function is just f of x equals a number, and it's a horizontal line. Uh, so wherever that horizontal, like if it's f of f of x equals 3, okay, well, it's a horizontal line through 3 on the y. A and notice that they will always be horizontal lines. Next is linear. f of x equals x by itself. Well, that one's that line like that I said. After that, we have quadratic. f of x equals x squared, which is the parabola graph, the one that has a U-shaped graph. A and the idea is that the lessons that we're going to, or the, assignments that we will do with this are going to help you hopefully understand this, um, like all the different characteristics. And then maybe uh, one of the days we can do like a, some type of foldable, some type of little design. We'll see. Um, that's usually a little bit out of my wheel set, but we'll try my best. Okay, next we have cubic, x to the third power. Notice that one kind of goes a little curvy. Then you've got a square root function, which starts at zero and goes up in a curve. Notice how that is shaped and how it only covers half. Uh, after that we have absolute value which, say, which is a v-shaped graph. <clears throat> Keep in mind what those two lines mean. Notice how those are straight lines, they're not brackets on the absolute value. That's very important to make note of because um, all that does is give, give you a positive answer. Last three. Oh my gosh, am I at the last three? Logarithmic log b of x. Notice how that one's similar to the square root function, but it keeps going past the x-axis and extends, but it's, and it's also not quite reaching a spot. Uh, then we have exponential, and exponential does that, where it kind of goes across like that, and it's getting closer to the x. And then you have rational function, <clears throat> where they kind of have like two little curves, one in the fir uh, first quadrant, one in the third quadrant, and that's really about it. Um, so you're being introduced to these. Like I said, we'll talk about how the domain and ranges look for each one of these, x and intercepts and y intercepts at the parent. And then once we've got the, hopefully this down fairly well, we'll be looking at transformations. How do I make changes to that? So like, and, and again, these are things that you've seen. But like, you know, when I'm saying f of x equals x squared, you know, how does that make this look, oh, say plus 2, you know, versus the parent function, actually, let's do it this way, like if there's a parent function, and then I say g of x equals x squared minus 2, okay, where this is x squared, and then the x minus 2, 1, 2, and you get, eh, let's try that again. You get a similar graph, 
that was moved two spaces down. And we'll discuss, because really the transformations are pretty much all the same for all of them, like the, the way they look and how they move things. So if you know how to do the parent, you'll be able to do transformations super easy. And so that will make, I mean, it will make your, make it so much easier to understand a lot of Algebra 2. Okay? Anyways, that's it for today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Um, thank you so much for your time, and good luck.